Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss two questions which came in the TCS written test recently. These kind of questions will help the students who are preparing for TCS and other company written tests. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me discuss the question number one, then I will discuss the question number two. Look at the question number one. They have given a program. If you execute this program, they are asking what will be the output. They have given four options. Option A is equal, option B is not equal, option C is error, option D is none of the above. So we need to find what will be the output of this program. Look at here. They have given hash include stdio.h which is a standard input output header file. And they have given void main. Main is a predefined function and every function will have the written type. The written type specifies what kind of value the function will return after executing successfully. In the written type, if you are specifying void keyword, meaning is that this function does not return any value. Then int x is equal to 10. x is an integer variable. An integer variable can be able to store integer constant. 10 is an integer constant, so it is okay. Now static int b is equal to x. The static is a keyword which defines the scope, lifetime and memory where it will be stored. Then you can ask me what is the scope of this variable. It is an automatic variable. Okay. We have four types of variables. One is an automatic variable, static variable, register variable and external variable. All these concepts I have discussed in the C programming lectures. You can refer them. Now look at here. B is equal to X. So lot of students will think that b also will get the value which is there in the variable x which is 10. Then you have a if condition. If this condition is true, the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. If this condition is false, the statement which is there in the else block will be executed. Now you can say that x is equal to equal to b. This is the condition. Look at the x value 10 and b value is 10. So a lot of students will think that 10 is equal to 10. Yes, in mathematics also 10 is equal to 10. So this condition is true, they will think that output will be equal and even they will think that Sar is explaining this much silly questions and even he is saying that these are the TCS previous questions. We are not fools. If you are thinking like that, you have done the mistake. The question lot of students will think that this will program will give the output as equal. This program will not give the output as equal. Why it will not give the output as equal and what will be the right answer I will discuss with you now. Is it clear? Now look at this one. This statement static int b is equal to x. This variable is a static variable. Whenever you are declaring a static variable and initializing some value. See this is an initialization you are declaring and defining and also initializing the value 10 to the variable x. Here also you are defining declaring and also initializing but here you are assigning okay but when it comes to the static variables whenever you are initializing you should initialize with some constant if you would have written this program as static int b is equal to 10 then it is valid and this program will give you the output will be equal but when it comes to the this statement static int b is equal to x you have assigned the value which is there in the variable x to the variable b. This is not a valid statement. If you execute this program, here you will get the error. Okay. So the right answer for this question is error. Why it is that whenever you are initializing a static variable, you should initialize with some constant. Okay. I hope it is clear for you why this program will give you the error not the correct answer as equal. If you still have any doubts related to this question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Now look at the question number 2. Hash include stdio.h, void main, they have given 3 printf statements and get ch. If you execute this program, what will be the output they are asking. Now hash include stdio.h, it is correct, void main is correct. You have opened one curly braces and closed curly braces. So this is also okay. Then print of this print of spelling is correct. Print of spelling is correct. Get ch is correct. Look at here. Print of backslash n. These are the escape character. Backslash n is new line. Backslash b backspace. Backslash a is alarm. 
backslash r carry is written backslash n new line so these are the escape characters now if you know the escape characters then you can easily solve this question okay if you don't know don't worry i will discuss whenever you are executing the program in the output the console will be there at the starting line but look at here print of backslash n so new line backslash n is nothing but new line the cursor will come to the new line then you are printing ks so k will be printed s will be printed and cursor will be at the next character is it clear now this is done then print of backslash b so backslash b is backspace so the cursor will be pointing to the s then mi so the cursor is here and you are printing mi so in place of s m will come then i will come and cursor will be here backslash a bell sound will come is it clear this is also done now look at this print of backslash r backslash r is carry is written carry is written means the cursor will be pointing to the first character so cursor will be pointing to the k now h a so cursor is here and you are asking to print h and a so in place of k h will come in place of m a will come then backslash n the cursor will come here and you have the i this i is exactly here only so this program will print the output as h a i okay i hope you have understood why this program will print the output as h a i if you still have any doubts related to the question number 1 and question number 2 feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video Have a nice day.